Today on Frugal BC, we're going to go a step-by-step -step guide of how to take advantage of the farming pools on Tiny Man. All that on today's Frugal BC. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Frugal BC. Uh, today, we're going to do. I've gotten, I gotten a lot of, uh, a lot, of, a lot of requests, surprisingly, for how to, how exactly to use the farming pools on Tiny Man. And I almost didn't do it because a lot of the pools are just about to expire. They're going to expire at the end of the month, either July, sometime between July 30th and August 1st, depending on the pool. But there is one, at least, that's going to continue through October. So it's still it's time to take advantage of this program. It's been one of my favorites. I've made I've been making several algo a day doing this, and I hope they extend them. They extended them once already. It was only supposed to go through, I think, the end of May at first, so they extended it. So maybe they'll do it again. But either way, there's at least one pool you can use. So we're going to walk through that today. Before we do that, guys, I'd love it if you would uh, subscribe to the channel to help uh, so you can see all our videos on uh, the little experiments that we do in crypto. My whole philosophy is let's not hype it. Let's not talk. Let's not talk about it. Let's just actually do it. Let's get into it, see how it works. And then we'll tell you how it went. So you get all the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button too, it helps other people see the, the videos so more people can get into crypto and, and you know get some help on doing this because stuff's pretty, can be pretty complicated. Um, I actually think the tiny man farming pools is kind of one of the easiest ones but also it's it's changed a bit um from so i look back at my march video because i did kind of walk through how to do it but it's actually quite a bit different now so let's uh let's get into it we're going to do a brand new pool the one that's going to be extended through october because i'm definitely going to be using that one uh, if it's the only one available let me share my screen and let's get into it okay so here we are on the main tiny man page once you when you go to the tiny man main page and you hit the go to the app, this is right where it takes you, it takes you to the swap function. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to farm. And first I'm gonna show you, there's a little tab now, this was different from when I did my video in March. There's a little one called farming positions. And if you click on that, you can see, first you can see how much you participate, what you've participated in. I was in three programs, I'm in two now. Uh, how much you've received total. So I've got about $39.9 total from this program for all the things that I've done. And uh, pending rewards is what I've got sitting out there right now. So this is about two days worth. Uh, so you can see that I'm getting about two, uh, shoot, 218 per day on my tiny man, which is not, which is not a great deal invested. And we've got 12.74 in algo from the Opal algo. This is the most lucrative one. Uh, still time to get into that one. I think it closes on the 30th. So if you're seeing this pretty quickly, uh, there's time to get into that yet. Again, I don't know if they're going to extend any of these. This one was new, was newer. So I'm hoping they extend it. The Yuli Algo one was also a newer one. The first one that I was in was US dollar coin. So the first three were uh, stable coin slash Algorand pairs. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and claim these. This is how easy it is now. You used to have to go to the actual page to claim them. Now you can claim them right from this one page and just hit the claim button. So it's a lot easier. Um, it usually doesn't show you, but if a little pop-up window to sign, sign with my wallet came up. And it's just that easy. So we're going to do that one. We're just going to go ahead and do this one too. Again, the little, the little uh, sign the little transaction signature window is coming up and we're just approving that hitting it and then it claims it doesn't take very long as you can see it's already uh, updating on there and uh yeah what are we talking about like maybe eight nine seconds so it should change from pending to total received in just a little bit well maybe that's going to take a while maybe i just refresh the page huh Yep, there it is. So now, we, now we've gotten $44.25 total from farming programs. And it's only been around since March. Like I said, that's when I did my first video. But all right, let's say we want to actually, let's let's join a new one. So, oh, they just added a brand new one uh, from GoAlgo and US Dollar Coin. That's interesting. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the 
doesn't say anything about the percentages yet. This this is new. <laughs> when I looked at it this morning to prep for the video, this wasn't here. So this is brand, brand new. Here it is, uh, Tuesday at around 11.45, and it's on there. So brand new, brand new thing. Uh, but we're going to do this one because it's here. So I'm going to hit stake. Let's see. And then there's a little button that says add liquidity. And so I can't quite do this yet because I actually have to have PBTC in, in my wallet. You can get that on. So I'm going to go to swap and I'm going to say, eh, we'll do 10 algo. No, you know what? We'll do 20. I've got 89 algo now from my recent uh, recent harvesting. So I'm going to do, wait, oh, I hit max. Don't hit max. <laughs> I don't want all of it. I want 20 for, oh, uh, sorry. There was right there anyway, but PBTC. That's a very, very small amount of, of uh, pretend Bitcoin. <laughs> I call it pretend Bitcoin. That's not the real title. It's just what I'm calling it. Uh, my favorite ones to do are the stable coins because you know at least the stable coins are going to stay the same price. So we just uh, we just opted into the asset because I haven't had any of that yet. I also have some actual. I have some uh, the the Go Bitcoin, the one that comes from uh, Mint Algo. Okay, so we're working on that Let's swap right now. Okay, there it is. Now, if I go back to farm and I go to stake, yeah, it should let me actually create. It'll actually let me create the uh, the token in here, which it used to not. So I have to opt into the token. So this is new too from March. They didn't have this before. So I just need the two assets in my wallet. I don't have to create the token ahead of time. And then there's just a little while. So when I do these tutorials, yeah, okay. So that's pretty quick. We are, we're opted in, we're all set up, we're at max. Now I hit add liquidity, confirm supply. And it's just having me sign the transaction. So I hit that. And then that just will take a little while. I'm gonna scroll up here. So I'm gonna get 0.735766 of the PBTC algo pool tokens. Just that simple. That's it. Oh, and uh, what we can do, there's a little bit, there's usually a little bit to redeem. That is going to cost you some transaction fees, but it's so little that I just usually do it. I don't try to do the math because at 0 0.002 algo, that's next to nothing. That's less than a penny. So just, just for the sake of keeping it clean, I just go ahead and redeem the extra too. Okay, extra is redeemed. Now, if I go to farm, okay, sorry, I do still have to stake. So now I'm going to hit stake, confirm stake. Again, I'm signing the transaction on my wallet. And that just takes a moment. So we have $12 total stake, which is not much. I'm, We'll probably put far more into this, and that's it. That's done. So now when you go to the manage page, it will tell you the pool percentage, the rewards percentage. This is the rewards per cycle and algo. Uh, this is your total pool token balance and the dollar amount associated with that, which I really like that it does that. Uh, so you got to wait for the next cycle. So it's going to take a little while, and then it will tell you you've been... As you can see here, I haven't been staking for any time at all. So it says zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, seconds, blah, blah, blah. Uh, rewards you received, I haven't received any rewards for this and pending rewards. And it also tells you, God oh, dang it. It also tells you uh, when the program ends and when it starts. So this one ends October 2nd. I just wanna take a really quick look. Let's go down to my favorite one. I have a bunch of GoBTC too, so I might enter that one. So this is why I like this one, up to 156.74% APR. That's pretty good. Now let's go to the manage. 
And you can see I have 132,000 of these pool tokens, which is a value of almost $500. So I got a lot of money in there. Um, like I said, it's making, it's made 6.49 in this particular cycle. And I've received 72.7 algo from that. Nothing pending because we just, we just uh, launched it. If we want to add more liquidity, I would just hit the add more liquidity button. And then once I've made the pool, the little uh, stake button will stake more or update your stake. Something like that will appear up here. So when you want to add ones, you can do it that way. Now, one thing that's really important here is that it always updates on the next cycle. So that's something to keep in mind. Like when you when you update, the next cycle will update with your new balance. So it won't, you won't get a daily. Um, I haven't been compounding these daily. I usually add more every so often. I um, Actually, with all my staking, I do them every other day just to minimize actual time spent working on this stuff. So that's really important to, to know. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do it. It's actually pretty simple. It seems like a lot of steps, but mostly... And mostly it's just a lot of clicking buttons and waiting. It's really not that complicated, but I hope that really helps people who wanted to do this. I've had, like I said, I've had actually several people ask me for an update and, oh, I was going to check. Yeah, that one. So that one still ends June 30th. I don't think they've extended a lot of the other ones, but they seem to keep adding new ones. So that's a really important point. As long as they keep adding new pools, you'll have new pools to participate in. And I might, I might actually use my, I, I converted some of my Bitcoin over to uh, go, Bit go Bitcoin, the GBTC, to hold it in my wallet so I can hold it there instead of on exchanges. I'm just really nervous about exchanges these days. So I might use some of that towards the farming pools too. Uh, so I, I want to let you, I want to ask you guys what you think about this uh, staking pool, this farming pool on Tiny Man. I'm, I'm a big fan of it, but I'd love to hear your experience, what you think. Uh, do you like it? I, it sounds like there's going to be a couple that keep continuing. So hopefully this program continues. I'm not sure, I wanna explore that top one because it looked different than the other one. So I'm not sure like what the deal is with that exactly, but it looks interesting. I'm glad that they're continuing the program. So again, leave your comments, wanna hear. If you have any questions, I, I'm pretty good about answering comments. I try to answer all of them. So so leave your comments with questions or what you think you know, in the below and uh, guys stay safe out there. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a interesting world in crypto. It should be a small part of your portfolio, but I think it's an important one. Stay safe out there guys. And we'll see you in the future.